Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well this morning. Hmm. Got a few messages for you. So, a um, couple fellas visited a room and said, so this is the problem? And it's you. Yes. Because you refused to quit, to bend, to break, to go away. You insisted on living authentically, transparently, and apparently you are loud. A role model for the unseen. They're trying to discredit you in any way, but the people aren't, um, the people aren't agreeing with what they're saying. This um, tyrant is talking about the equinox, which was on September 22nd, and it was the start of Libra season. So the scales are being balanced. And then there was a song. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. So this adversary um, individual and group are hypothesizing about you and your circumstances. They're saying, well, hypothetically, blah, 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 blah. And they're not even theorizing, you know, they're not, there's no, um, data, there's no um, evidence of anything. They're just dreaming up some kind of a possibility and then going with it, you know, thinking they know something. There was a room uh, and some people in it, and then there was a doorway that led out into a hall or something. And um, they all went to the exit at once. And then it seemed like they started grappling with each other, like they wanted to leave, but then these other ones didn't want them to leave. And so um, it was kind of a, it was a feeling and vision of disagreement. They were having a disagreement about uh, whether to stay or to go. Then I saw a tall, slender, masculine, light-skinned masculine, and his eyes were black. I mean, black. And he was a girly masculine. You know, he had um, curly brown hair, and he was looking at me with a smile on his face, and he had false lashes on, and he was like batting his eyes at me with a little smile on him. And it's like that there were, their eyes were black, so that was a demon. And I'm wondering if that's what's driving um, some of the stuff that we're witnessing out there. There was a man who looked like Thor and he had the red cape and everything and he was seated at this big table and he was eating his food and then all of a sudden he started, he just spit it out like a whole big mouthful of food just, just came out and then he started trying to wipe his tongue with his napkin and I don't know if he got it off or not but um, there was that. So this um, enemy or adversary, which is what they, they call themselves, so that's why I refer to them as such, just so you know. Um, so they're talking about souls and domination. They're embarrassed. Something is very embarrassing because whoever it was that oversaw the souls and domination of these souls forfeited their position because of fraud. They're very embarrassed. Apparently somebody out there is a demon slayer. Um, so they're talking, they're mentioning again, they're mentioning income taxes, um, um, you know, anything that they can get you snagged up in. So they're looking into you to see if they can disrupt your life or sick somebody, some organization onto you. And of course they want to separate you from your protector. So again, they're talking about ways of um, unaliving you so that they can keep your gifts. They're being told that they abandoned you and so they lost all rights to this connection. They're trying to force you into an unaliving so that they can command again your gifts. They wanna take you, but they're being told that they abandoned you and they've lost all rights to this connection. They can't take you. 
They don't have a contract with you. They've lost that. So they're discussing what's happening. Um, apparently someone has control over regions and they're extremely upset about this. They're mad because um, you or perhaps you or somebody don't really know what's going on. They don't know the playbook. They don't play by the, um, the rules, you know. Um, they, this could actually be a significant restart all over. Like there's no religion, no war, you know, no history of hating each other. It's just because you're a blank, blank slate apparently because you, you're not really religious. You just have this sacred um, connection with the divine and the spirit family and the multiverse. And, uh, so religion may be going away especially um yeah re religion may be going away and it may be going into that one-on-one -on -one connection with source again you know pray in thine own closet kind of business so again um their person forfeited their position due to fraud they're really upset about this and they're talking about you she has the energy and they said she so i'm guessing you're female she has the energy and they said yes she has the energy so they're trying to harvest energy they're trying to salvage a timeline where humanity survives um, now for them humanity are batteries okay it's an energy source a commodity and they're concerned about their resources um, it appears that humanity is being removed from their timelines um, and I got a message from the Most High uh, months ago, or a representative of, that this is the end of their relationship with batteries. And humans have been acting as batteries, as energy sources for these people who harvest energy and then, you know, do all this fancy, you know, um, battery operated uh, stuff. Or whatever solar operated energy anyway you just take that as it resonates for you and it looks to me like um, the most high is removing or moving relocating the organic life from these vampiric timelines you know they're not going to have this resource to harvest from and brutalize um, in the future you know, like these ones were doing, they were um, trapping, trapping, ensnaring, and dominating souls. So, the one who for, uh, for, forfeited their position due to fraud is now suicidal. Apparently, she is heavily sedated. Those who are upset over losing regions of land and resources are very concerned. They're talking about uh, she's homeless. Now, whether it be this person or not, or whether it be an actual homeless person that has a, a high energy, you know, she has the energy, she has the energy. Whoever it was that she they were talking about, she may be homeless. And um, the thing is, is that if she's homeless, she may be um, in, under the influence of, of chemicals of some sort. Uh, which would make her energy unnatural and but still they're tempted to utilize this energy they're upset because they can't control you they're being quizzed you can't control her and they're like no i can't control her so who i feel these people are um it's a landlocked group who's been under the command of archons and i think archons are here actually in flesh suits pretending to be humans and this is what we got going on now and they're um they've been selling the commodity of energy and you know wombs with seeds and such for a long time so they're upset over a Christine or a Christina who they've deemed to be ignorant. And what it is, is that she, they, they wiped her mind like she doesn't have um, 
uh, memory of of what she was came here for or what her role was they really did everything they could to shut her down and then mentally terrorized her but um she rose from all that healed herself as the star and rejuvenator revitalized herself and you know with the help of the divine rose uh, like the phoenix on fire they're concerned because the only way they can get her out is to say, um, is, uh, they say, is to get her, you, addicted to something. You can't hold this kind of power if you are an addict. Because you're unstable. And uh, um, you could be unreliable and unsafe. There could be the potential that you utilize cannabis in um, moderation. Um, and that's the adversary is trying to use that somehow to um, twist this up for you. So you may want to decide to, um, I don't know, do whatever you need to do with that. But I feel this is why drugs and alcohol run rampant in this, um, in this realm. It's because if they get folks addicted you know, these light bearing children, you know, you, you, you're born into this world as a bright light. And if they can get them addicted, you know, start smoking at five, drinking at 10, whatever. And then they have this lifelong um, pattern and the inability, um, they lose the right to rise into a leading role. They can't because if they can't manage them, their own self, if they can't pull themselves up out of this addiction that was purposely placed into their life, it's a trap, a handling trap, orchestrated by those who control the matrix here, um, or did. It assures that you won't challenge them. So if they get the child addicted or traumatized and unable to rise up out into their power, then it, it assures that they won't be challenged, that you can't challenge them according to universal law if you are addicted you can't wield that power or authority so they make sure to degrade you and defile you at a young age to keep you in limited thoughts about yourself low self-esteem you know so they run those kinds of thoughts through the mind you know self-hate thoughts and stuff like that to keep you in that powerless state they're talking about a stigma and they're upset about it um, a stigma is a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. And interestingly, it is also in the Christian tradition, um, it marks the corresponding, uh, the marks correspond to those left on Jesus's body by the crucifixion. So this is wild that they would use that, you know, the stigma. It's an it's a mark of disgrace. And then interestingly, they say that it's also the marks left on Jesus by the crucifixion. So do with you what you want with that information there. Uh, so they say um, she's human and she sabotages herself. And what they mean is that you don't play small. You're living an expanded soul, spirit, life, and your light is phenomenal. They accuse you of announcing yourself when you're simply existing as you are. Authentically, transparently, boldly, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You're not hiding anything. You know God's watching and you're like, hey, you don't pretend. You don't play roles. You are what you are, and you expand in all directions, balanced, in control, disciplined. And they have issues with a boldly alive woman. They say and discuss among each other that you are an alchemist. You transform and transmute every nasty thing that they throw at you. You're seemingly magical but I don't think you do magic. There was a brunette woman uh, with sharp, prominent features. Her hair was um, like a blondish color and she had light skin. And I was looking at her side profile and she was having a discussion with somebody saying, it is what it is. It's a change. 
and um, yeah, so they're all talking about this. They're calling you a new representative. And these adversaries of yours, um, they're doing everything that they can to disqualify you. They're going through a rule book or something, chapter 12, point four, point three five, or whatever. It's a wildly complex manual um, that they're looking into to try to snare you. You probably have no idea what this is. They say you are a bohemian. They actually said bohemian, which is an unconventional person living an unconventional life. You're an artist, a liberal, and critical of organized religion. <laughs> That's the description in Google. Uh, you think outside the box. They're talking about a masculine. They said he is English. And then they said um, he pretty much disabled her. The fraud who committed fraud against the people to trap and dominate their soul. Power. They're um, really um, throwing a lot of energy um, and anger regarding your power. They're very upset because you use the power in service to assist others. And the brutalizers just want to harm others and take the money. I saw some hands, some light skinned hands with red fingernails. Um, they were kind of doing this and um, down by the waist area. And then they kind of slid into um, the pocket of what appeared to be a black waist apron. So they kind of slid into the pocket. Now, I don't know if that's like the hidden hands of, you know, Satan or whatever, because the nail polish was red or whatever. I don't know. Um, or maybe the hidden hand is that. I don't know what this message was, but that's the message that somebody was trying to um, convey. Somebody's saying, this changes everything. You are a new representative, a human representative, and you have power. And um, whoever was trying to come against you um, has forfeited their position due to fraud. And they know you're in the USA and they want to get rid of you. Then I saw some light skinned people gathered on an outside porch, a nice outside porch. There was a nice lawn and some trees and stuff. And um, there were adults and teens and they were milling about kind of, kind of like they were at a barbecue or something. And then I um, switched a little while later, I had another vision of, um, uh, what appeared to be like a longhouse, um, an indigenous longhouse. And there were chairs lined up on the, the two long sides of the room and then the, the, the far short side. And it was full of people and they all had plates of food in their lap and they were eating. It looked like a feast. Now, I suppose, you know, when people are eating, it doesn't look much like a celebration. You know, you pop in, you have a look, and they're looking at you like, what? You know, I'm eating. So um, I just don't know what this was, but apparently there is a feast happening, and it's happening for the light-skinned people, and it's happening for the indigenous people at the same time. We've got an adversary here. I believe these are the landlocked ones who have been... I mean, they could be Archon or they could be associates of the Archon um, working with um, a particular group of people that I, that labeled themselves the adversary and that I refer to as the adversary because that's what they call themselves. And I'm like, okay, if that's what you want to be, then that's what we'll call you. So anyway, they're concerned because it isn't blooming. It's not blooming. I don't know what that is, but apparently it's not blooming and that's a problem. Then I thought I saw the outline of a dog's uh, chew bone, which um, that's what I perceived it as. It could have been um, a bone. Now, I don't know what kind of bone it was. It looked like a dog's chew bone, but there was a bone there. So take that as it resonates. Your connection um, with the divine is not false. Um, it's with the divine, the most high, the upper realms, P 
pure, light um, connection. It's valid. You are, um, in a previous read that I got, it was, uh, you are um, a pr an approved, what do they call that? Repre it's a representative, a new representative. It's somebody who is an approved representative that has the power to speak on behalf of somebody else. So it's like this woman who um, got lost her position due to fraud. It's like you're taking over this position as um, representative, like you are the new speaker of the house, basically. You're the new speaker of the house. They lost their position due to fraud. Crimes against the people, trapping souls and dominating them and selling their energy as a commodity. So this is wild, really wild. Uh, they're talking to each other again. She's losing her mind. So whoever lost her position due to fraud um, is losing their mind and they're very concerned about this. They have to pay for handling, they're told. They have to pay for handling people um, and setting them up for failure and then um, punishing them. Uh, they're talking about somebody else. She's a millionaire. So um, it could be you or it could be somebody they're targeting right now. Uh, then um, the message, they're being removed because someone is back on your porch, your protector. That's what I got for you today. I hope this resonates or brings clarification to something that you already intuitively knew and I will see you on the next one, everybody.